Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about some advanced topic and it's one of the most important things that is the graphical representations of data. So how we can represent data in graphically? So using the chart. So a few days back, we have discussed about the pie chart and today I will going to show you how to integrate area chart into your application. So for this, here we have in the code we can see there is a laravel 8 advanced that is the database name and i have created a database and inside this database i am creating three tables basically i want to see some sales of a stores and expense of a stores so in the store master table we are getting all the stores name and i want to see the sales and expense report so this is the sales master table sorry this is the expense master table so here we can see the store id that is the id is coming from the store master table so using this id we can get the record for the particular store and in the same way this is the sales master table so we are getting the sales report from inside here i want to see a graphical representation so where we can see the store wise sales and expense okay so how we can do this so let's create a controller first and we'll load a view inside the laravel application but mind it you can use this graphical representation or you can say in google chart in your any application so you can use java you can use dornet you can use php whatever okay so i am using the laravel framework the usage is basically the same so here we can see the sample example and here we can see the code that is already google providing so let's integrate into your application so first we will create the controller and to create controller write php artisan make colon controller and suppose my controller name is chart controller okay so just enter this a controller created now go to the editor i am using the visual studio editor and here if you just go to the controller sections so inside the app http and controllers there will get the chart controller okay so which we have just created and here i will create a function and we'll call that function through the routes and will display so let's start so public function suppose i am writing the function name that is area chart okay so here we will create a view letter so first i will write written something so area chart so just for testing whether my controller is working or not and we need to call this from the routes so routes web.php okay and here we'll call so just use the namespace path that is the app http controllers and here write the same app http controllers and after that the controller name so i will prefer always copy and paste so there there will be no mistake of spelling okay now we will create a link so write route colon i will use the gate url so i think you know that how to use gate url if you don't know you can check my laravel 8 playlist to so have a latest tutorial on laravel 8 topic wise so right here the area okay so this is the link where i want to see this and after that you write the chat controller it is a controller name class and the function name so here my function name is area chart okay so now go to this link so here you can see my server is running and just go to this url and here we'll see the output that is the area chart okay so simply we will load a view and inside the view we will display this data okay so now just go to the controller and here just write a written view and the view name is suppose i am taking the view name is area okay so i will create a date file inside the view so just go to the resource and resource under views and here we'll create area 
dot blade dot php okay so this is my view and just follow the google code so here is the code just copy this and paste it here okay so now just go to the browser here just refresh so here we can see the chart is appear okay basically this is the static data i want to make this area chart with our data okay so this is the static data so how this data is passing through the chart so just go to the blade and here we can see there is some records that is 2013 sales 1000 expense 400 so in this way we are getting in the 2013 that is the expense 400 and the sales is 1000 so i will show my report i will use inside our application so i have a four store that is the electronic store grocery store jewelry store and sweet store okay so i will display this record and will show the profit and loss data inside my application so now just go to the editor and here to write the logic for this okay so here is my controller and first we need to face the data from database so here we will use the db okay and i will write simple raw query you can use allocant or anything whatever you want but here suppose i am creating a variable that is the result and you will write the db query so write select and inside the select we will write db raw okay and inside this section we will write our query so before writing here just write inside the mysql ui section so just go to the sql section and let's see how the data is coming into the mysql so first we have a store master table and we will relate this table with the expense master table and with the sales master table okay so write a simple query so here i will write select star from store master and i will first write the join logic so here write lib join and the first table that is i want to join with sales master okay on sales master dot store id equal to store master dot id okay so the first relation done then the next relation that is again the lab join i will join with the expense master okay so right here expense master on sorry expense master dot store id equal to store master dot id okay so you can check so here we can get inside the sales master we have a store id which are directly indicating this store master dot id okay and same way we have a expense master store id okay so we can use this so now count the record how we can count this we have aggregate function that is the sum so first of all we need the name that is the name of the store and then the sales report so how we will get the name so inside the store master there is a name so first i want to fetch the store master dot name okay next i need the total sales with this store so write sum and the total amount okay so right here sales master dot amount okay and the same way we will need sum expense master dot the amount so we'll get the amount in inside the expense master table also and i will provide a lis name so here simply write as suppose here write total sales and as total expense okay so now let's try so we need to group by these things because when to get the, all the sum by grouping the store name so basically the unique thing is store id so we'll write the group by comment here so we'll write the group by clause here so write here group by store master dot id okay so let's go 
and here we can see the electronics 4470 this is the total sales and electronics 2000 is the total expense so these are the record we need to display in this section so now just write this query inside your Laravel application so write the same way okay so the result we are getting this so now we need to build this type of things so we will write a data suppose I will store all the things inside there so I will create a simply this type of string inside this data okay and first of all we need to write the for each loop so using the for each loop we will get all data so I will write here dollar result as the value okay so we don't need key we only need the value okay so right here data dot equal to because i want to concatenate okay so now just use simply one section so just copy this here and i will paste it here okay so we will dynamic these things using this variable so right here double colon inside dot val and dot name and in the same way just write the value okay so here we'll get that is the total sales and the total expense okay so let's see how the value is appearing inside then write a dd comment so to die and see the output so write dollar data and if you just go to the browser and refresh these things so we can see our record is appear so we need this kind of things into here okay so this is my blade file and this is my controller so how to pass this data so I am taking this data inside a compact function so right here compact so using compact we can pass any value to the blade and I am passing this data into the blade and simply just remove this thing and write here a php tag and just echo the dollar data now if we just go to the browser and refresh this we can see a new graph is appear that is the sales and expense that is the sales and expense and here we can see the electronics grocery jewelry and suite so we can change this name that is the company performance or year so inside this we can write the store performance okay instead of year we can write the store name and now just refresh this so store name and the store performance appear so i want to change these things also so i want to write the sales report and the expense report okay so we can customize these things also and here i want to see another parameter suppose you can see there is the total sales and total expense that is if you check inside the total expense section there is 3400 in grocery section but sales is 3000 i want to see the profit or loss inside this graph also so how we can add the new extra things so simply very simply we can write here another things that is a comma and profit okay so i want to get the profit as a profit first i am writing the allies name and i will just minus the sales from the expense okay sorry i will minus expense from the sales okay so write in this way so now just go so here you can see inside the grocery we are getting the loss and others we are getting the profit so just add these things inside your query and push it into the blade file so just here just write these things okay and we are getting the profit so in the same way so now just add the profit here so write comma and inside this 
just write dollar val arrow the name that is the profit okay so the profit is added and now just go to the blade so all things are done now add here another things that is the profit amount okay and just write here amount and just go to the browser and refresh this so here you can see the profit amount also so for jewelry we are getting the negative profit that means it is minus and for jewelry we are getting the profit of 2300 and 500 sorry uh, there is the spelling mistake that is not a problem but the concept is here so basically we can understand how to create a area chart into your application so this is the simple things but this is the important to display any data in a graphical ways okay so this is helpful i think you will like this video so please like and subscribe this channel to get more video like this thanks for watching this video have a good day bye